Yeah, and welcome. Other than that, and forever. Used to be the opening for the, um, I think, Armcast podcast. And I think I've maybe used, used that on Mondo, uh, Mondo Method podcast as well. Me, Chuck Buddha. Everybody remember Chuck Buddha? Me neither. I'm going to jump right into some writing. Jump in with me. Uh, also, a reminder for everybody to resubscribe or subscribe, as the case may dictate. Use your Twitch Prime. And um, also, YouTube. Subscribe. It's free on YouTube. Subscribe for free. Uh, I got these videos go up later on in the afternoon. But also, I have a ton of other things. I have my walk and talks. I have various videos i have skits i have secret things there's no skits i don't i don't do skits anyway we're gonna get some writing in Tesla beeped twice. Excellent. I knew as soon as I jumped on Twitch, the Tesla would let you know that I'm on, Tom. Does it also, does the Tesla also, it beeps twice to let you know I'm on Twitch, and then it also um, makes you hummus? Every time we go to uh, the Wind dixie which is conveniently also in the parking lot where the um, Dunkin' drive through is, they have uh, the, the, the chargers set up for like a dozen of them for, uh, for electric cars. I never ever see anybody plugged into any of them. And I always say, well, that's where when Tom comes for MondoCon, that's where Tom's going to park his Tesla there. And then I'll just pick him up at the, um, I'll just pick him up at the Winn-Dixie. It verbally abuses me for not writing enough. That, that can't be good at this point in your life. I would imagine you're getting abused a lot. If I had a Tesla, I would be abused a lot. But we're changing. We're going. We're we're turning that corner today, Tom. You and me. We're going to bulk get some writing in today. You're going to get a, your chapter finished. Then I'm going to get my chapter finished. I'm going to get this chapter finished in Down and Dirty Two today. I'm going to have some good days. Shelly is. Um, she's here now, but she's packing for her next couple days. She'll be gone till Tuesday night. Uh, I got Amanda coming over Tuesday, which would be good too. So I'm hoping today, tomorrow, and Tuesday is not lying on the couch watching bad television. I'm hoping it is. Let me get some writing in. Let me get like a couple thousand words in each day kind of thing. So I'm going to need your help with this, Tom. I'm going to need you to get some writing in as well and turn this corner. Then I'm going to watch Chill Bots. Well, yeah, as, as, as will I. As will I. And here's the thing. Reward yourself.
for a good day of writing. And I can't think of a better reward than that. Chobot will be wearing those same pants that she wears all the time. Like, I literally, I'm, I'm convinced he's like, okay, what, I gotta have a specific wardrobe, like a super, superhero. And I'm gonna have these gray pants with weird pocket things on them. I don't know what the hell she's got going there. But I'm just gonna wear the same thing over and over. Every episode. These pants. There's Nick Zinn. Do I sleep all Sunday? Is this Monday? No. No. We're doing bonus. Can't you read the thing? Bonus. Bonus Sunday. I need to get some words in. Nick Cheesehead Zinn in the house on a Sunday. I know. Are you working today, Nick? Are you delivering Sunday um, after church strombolis and or Subway subs? Or cheese wheels? Post-church cheese wheels I gotta get some I gotta get some writing in I want to finish this chapter I'm, I'm almost to the end of the end of the page here so there's the end of the page if I can get this done and then get to the next page I will be I would be super super happy I'll be working in a few hours. Better delivery rate. So three fifty per delivery instead of the usual two dollars. That is insane. Because people are lazy on Sundays. They're like, I'm not leaving the house. And Nick's like, I will leave the house for an extra dollar fifty a delivery. <laughs> Make that bank. If you do five hundred deliveries today, think of the money you'll make. Is there a like certain range? that you will uh that you will do like is it like yeah i'm not i'm not uh yeah i'm not going all the way to um to duluth to to deliver this oh they want this up in uh great lakes illinois yeah i'm not driving a sub that up there with all i make i'll be able to fill up my gas tank well you know that's important though. it's better than not having gas of course you're using all the gas to deliver subway subs Now I want a Subway sub. Thanks, Nick. But not really Subway. A Larry's Giant sub. That's, um, or a pub sub. Those are my favorites. Just an act honestly saying because you've been watching this, bro. 
She's learning the language. Because she's from that fake part of New Jersey that they, they didn't say words right. This Subway Sunday stream brought to you by Subway. <laughs> Not by Jared, though. No. That guy's still in prison? Someone look that up. Subway, please forget about that Jared guy. We didn't know either. <laughs> I wonder if the guy's still in prison. I'm going to look that up right now. Jared Fogel. He's scheduled for prison release in 2029. Here's what I want to know. I want to know when he gets out of prison in 2029 if he's going to be fat again. Right? That's a le legitimate question. Or if he made a deal when he went to prison that he would only eat Subway subs the entire time. The prison supplies him with Subway subs. Next page, Nixon. Next page. You are on the ball today, my friend. Balling. I didn't write it all yesterday. I had... Uh, I went to... Um, Pretty sure he's not allowed in a subway again. Yeah, but maybe they bring the subway to the prison. You know, like Tommy Lee bought a uh, Starbucks franchise and put it in his house. Maybe they did that for Jared. Like, he's sharing a cell with Subway. But they probably have a plexiglass so he can't attack anybody who's, like, under 12 years old. Who can say? Uh, Michael Whitmer, who came to... Uh, MondoCon last year, he had his first book signing yesterday. Shelly and I ran over there for 45 minutes or so. And uh, he actually was doing well. Shelly taught him a couple things, like when you are when you have the person has the book in their hand, and then um, when they're reading the back, to shut your mouth and not keep talking and interrupting them. And he had shirts for sale that um, uh, Michael O'Connell, also from MondoCon, had done a design for it, which was pretty cool. But um, he had them just thrown in a box, so somebody asked for a couple, and it took him, like, I don't know, four hours to go through the box. Instead of having them organized by size, he did not do that. So Shelly yelled at him for that, too. So he'll get better. <coughs> Tommy Lee bought at Starbucks. Starbucks is gross. Then again, Tommy Lee is gross. Exactly. Yeah, it was in his book that he, um, whatever the book he put out, that he basically bragged about how big of his how big his penis was for, I don't know, eight straight chapters. In the beginning, he talks about how he used to walk down his from his mansion. He'd have to walk like a mile and a half every morning to go down to the end to go to the Starbucks. And he figured that was just too long. That's just too far, a mile and a half. So he bought his own franchise and he moved it into his house. And he literally has somebody that works part-time in the Starbucks, so every morning and every night he gets Starbucks. I'm, I'm going to guess he's not making a ton of money, though. Shelly's the best teacher when it comes to dealing with human people. Yeah, exactly. Does that make Armin a bad student under her? 
that makes me a a student who's always learning, always making money thanks to her. Yeah, yeah. The worst is when she's not at the table. Me and Tom had a customer came over to do a card or something, and we both like I freaked. I I know I did. I freaked out. Like I don't know what to do. I've done a thousand um, I've done a thousand book signings. I don't know what to do now. Do they make him heroin also? Probably. I'm probably instead of when he says cream and sugar, it's heroin and sugar. They add to that. I'm gonna guess. I don't know. I'm not really sure. All I know is that new song is awful. I'm not sure what they think they're doing. New song, what is this? Speaking of metal, where's Mr. Frank? Mr. Frank is probably doing stuff with his uh, wife and kids. Probably, they're probably hanging out with her family or something. Yeah, Motley Crue has, it's called like Dogs of War or something like that. It's awful. It's an awful song. You, you can find it on everywhere. It's got that uh, John, Maroon 5 John, whatever the hell his name is, playing guitar on it. It's not... Not bad. As if they're more important. I, I agree. I don't understand what, you know, but whatever. Oh, your family's more important than hanging out on Twitch. Whatever. I found this thing on uh, YouTube. I was like, because I, I had uh, therapy on Thursday. And I've not been in a good mood. I've not been in a good place mentally. And um, he's like, oh, you got to look up this... I don't know what it's called, dark water, some, whatever it is. It's like this soothing five-hour noise of, like, running water. Which I, I wish I started watching, but I, I, it's like I gotta, like, it just makes me gotta, I gotta pee. But then one of the, one of the things on there is there's a bunch of different ones, and one of them is, like, videos of different things, soothing things, and then the one that I found was, this dude took, I, I'm sure it's illegal, he took the dark water music and he overlaid it on top of him walking the beaches in Rio for like five hours on a loop. And I watched that for like an hour and it was very soothing. And then I was like, let me find the original video, which was even better because you hear all the noise, but you hear the water. So you hear the waves because he's walking near the waves. And then you're hearing all the people talking in their their Brazilian language, Portuguese. I don't know, whatever they speak. I'm ignorant. And then uh, and then you're seeing all the people. So you're seeing um, like every 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 woman there, even if they're like eight years old, they all have thongs on. And every every dude, like every three guys, there's they have a soccer ball. So, like, that's pretty much the thing. And then there's about a thousand people walking through the crowd. And the, it's, like, packed on these beaches. Like, a thousand people walking through the crowd selling chairs and hats and java juice and all kinds of hot dogs. I don't know, whatever the hell they, they eat there. Goats from Chad Howey's farm. All kinds of stuff. But it was very, it was interesting. It was, it was very soothing. I liked it. 
This whole year so far has been a really bad mental time. Yeah, you've. I'm gonna be honest with you, Tom. I've not had a good year, but you. I think you've had a much worse year. You keep the walking in Rio beaches, people in business. I do, I do. And there's like on YouTube and on Twitch. Twitch they keep knocking them down. Twitch they keep they keep banning them and taking them down. But then those people just go on YouTube and then just put a bunch of yeah. I love watching those. I I love just. I don't like people. You know, I don't like being around people. But I do like watching from a safe distance a computer. I love watching on the monitor people walking past other people. It's, it's like good people watching. So yesterday we went to this thing with Michael Whitmer and it was packed. I mean, there's a lot of people in the library. They, they really put on a big event. But there was just too many people. I was starting to get a little like, like, a, like I'm sitting in the chair next to him and I'm like, there's just too many people. And then to leave, you got like, you're pushing through people. And it was just too much. And then um, we had like, I don't know, over a dozen people at the house last night for a graduation for our nephew. And it was like his whole family was here. And um, you know, his grandparents. It's like everybody was here. And then at one point I was just, I, I, I felt very anxious. And my, um, my watch thing it gives me my heart rate, which is normally like 80 to 85. And I looked and it was like 170. And I was like, holy crap. So I went in the bedroom and I just sat there with my eyes closed and just calmed down. I got it to like 120. And then um, and then once everybody left last night, like about 830 or so, then I started to relax again. This morning it's down to like 90. But I was like, two events with a lot of people in one day is Probably not good for me. Not good at all. Did they have Subway subs? I did not see a Subway, and I was looking. I was looking. I was like, honey, get that giant big ass in a thong out of my way. I'm trying to look for a Subway for Nick. I didn't see it. I gained way too much due to the emotional drinking, so I'm doing the emotional eating. Yeah, don't don't go back to the emotional drinking. Uh, just do the eating. Like thousands and thousands of uh, pizza rolls. My Apple Watch gives me my heart rate. It also tells me I should be dead by now. Yeah, that's pretty much what I have. Whatever this thing is, Samsung something or other. I don't have a. I don't have an iPhone, but she tied it. She bought this one for the walking and stuff, which is great. I've been getting my walking in and stuff. I haven't been eating as much, although she made her world famous taco bar last night. So I had. Uh, three tacos and then some nacho chips. So I ate too much. And I also ate a crap ton of brownies. In fact, there was like three brownies left this morning when I got up. And she had already left to take her sister to the airport. And I was like, you know what? I'm eating um, I'm eating these brownies. So I ate the brownies. Yeah, taco bar. Yeah, so, so we have uh, two nephews and a niece. All right? It's like her best friend's kids. And we always do... When they do graduations, birthdays, whatever, we always would have them here. Because it's easier for everybody, or they're like, oh yeah, we're going to go to, you know, uh, I don't know, any anywhere. Can't even think right now. We're going to go to Outback for the kid's birthday. He's six years old, and we're all going to go to Outback, and then everybody's got to buy their own food. I'm like, that's ridiculous. I've never heard of that. That's just dumb. So, we would always have them over here. And then... The other two would always want awful food and awful desserts. And the one that graduated, Aiden, he likes brownies, he doesn't like cake, and he wants taco bar. And I'm like, this kid I like. The other two, worthless. This one I like because I get taco bar and I get brownies. So. Austin picks Italian food and Maddie picks chicken tenders. Yeah, but the foods are, yeah, chicken tenders. She's like 13 years old. But their desserts are awful. Well, for you. Yeah, they picked awful desserts. For you. For me, yeah. I'm only thinking about me. All right, I'm leaving. All right, have a good time. Thank you. Well, I won't. Thank you. You won't, but right. All right, I'll see you, I'll see you Tuesday night. See you Tuesday night. She's out, so anybody want to come over and hang out? Come on over and hang out. Can you come? Will you? I'm sorry. Will you take those balloons down later? I'll do it. Okay. I just put them in the baseball room so you can stick them. Tom and Nick both said goodbye. Apparently Twitch blocks the word wait. Outback, legit Australian food. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. 
you know, because you know when you go to Australia, it's every every place is outback. It's kind of like when you go to Mexico and every place is a Taco Bell. Exactly. <clears throat> anyway, I'm I'm almost done with this chapter, which is which is a good thing. Tom, I hope you have a better day today. And I hope you um you get this chapter in for us. Every waiter looks like Crocodile Dundee, right? Excuse me, Crocodile Dundee uh, waiter. Is this a knife? You you know the rest. Chad Hoey. Chad Hoey is in. <laughs> Bone us. And he subscribed. Thank you for the subscription, my friend. I appreciate it. Tom says, yeah, I'm saying right now in this public forum that I will at least get this chapter done today. Now I'll be held accountable. You better do it. You better effing do it. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Get this shit done. I, I, no more excuses. Yeah, because I need to, I need to write. So you need to get this done because I need to get a chapter done. To be to be honest with you. <clears throat> I'm not gonna be on for that long. I just cheated and went over there, Tom, to see if you were if you were on. You're not on. I was hoping as you said this, you were like four pages into it. I need to make some beads or else to get me in the mood. Probably a good idea. I have I have random leftover stuff from Taco Bar that I'm sure I will be having for um, for dinner tonight. Maybe I'll make some tacos. Maybe I'll make some quesadillas. Maybe I'll make some lamb chops. I don't have lamb. I don't like lamb. It's too, uh, it's too woolly. I think I do definitely have pizza rolls, though. I think we need to get Nick a waterbed for Monocon. Listen, I'm just going to say this. That air mattress every year after Nick's done with it is a water mattress, if you know what I mean. So we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not adding to that. Nick might have the option this year of, of the couch or the waterbed. The waterbed. The, uh, the waterbed. The blob mattress. Why if you bring a waterbed with you, Nick, we'll set it up. How's that? That, that's fair. Otherwise, no, no waterbed. I need that motion in the ocean. Yeah, you are not bringing your imaginary girlfriend with you. You are not having imaginary sex in my living room. I had invited uh, Peter Marsh to come, but he is not uh, able to come. So we're down a person, but I don't think I'm going to invite anybody else. 
Yeah, nobody needs to hear that is right. Nick says, Tom, you have a bedroom. Why would you care? Because he, he leaves the door open. He usually, for some weird reason, I don't know if you noticed this last year, Tom sleeps in the doorway. He just throws a, a pillow down and he just sleeps in the doorway. He doesn't sleep on the bed. And, he, and he's naked. So it's really weird. No Peter Marsh. Who are we going to pick on this year? No Chuck Buddha either, which is always good to uh, get picked on. <laughs> I don't know. Not everybody has paid yet. So I don't want to say... Uh, Nick and Amanda and uh, Mike Whitmer are the only ones that have officially paid yet. So those people are officially coming. So I can have three people in the house. At least I don't have to worry about running into naked Chuck Buddha in the middle of the night. And I can say that because he'll never see this. Yeah, he, he will never see this. If you post this all over social media, he would never see this. Yeah, nobody nobody wants to, nobody wants to see that.
You'll get your dollar dollar bills shortly. I locked the bedroom door, but now that Chuck won't be there, I feel safer. Probably a good idea. <clears throat> I do know that uh, he has not officially paid yet, but I do know that Splatterfolk writer, whatever he calls himself now, Tommy Clark, Thomas R. Clark, will be here this year. That's your trade-off for not having Chuck here. Tommy Clark. Tommy Clark and no um, drugs. Tommy Clark locking the door again. <laughs> probably, probably a good idea. Yeah. <coughs> and he's a Yankees fan. So he's definitely going in the um, Red Sox room. I think he'll be here the day before. I think he'll be here on Wednesday because the flight is cheaper. But I don't want everybody here on Wednesday because the flights are cheaper. She almost lost her mind at that. She's like, you got to tell me what time he's coming in. I mean, I got I got brownies to make. I got I got I got baking to do. When's Tom coming? You know, Tom's coming early. That's fine. It's, you know, it's Tom, but I don't want all these people. The guy's trying to get there ahead of me. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be here. But hopefully you will be able to come early again this year, so we can go to uh, Redneck Beach, and we could also get some scallop tacos again. I'm not doing that with Tom. Blech. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, so Tom is on now. Tom, I'm looking over at your, uh, at Rising Tide. I see the little cursor is there that says Tom Duffy, so. You're making progress, my friend. You're making progress! I believe Nick Zinn is coming next week. So Sunday at AuthorCon, he was playing Magic the Gathering with John Urban Sick and was high as a muffer. Yeah. I'm sure he was. I told them, listen, take all the take all the edibles and all the other crap you want to take before you get on the plane. But when you land, none of that crap in my house. Nick says he needs to get there early because you're leaving early because you got a wedding or something. Someone could swoop in and take my mattress. That is very true. You can get here and Amanda Ward's just lying on the on your mattress. Like, don't you have a house in the area? She's like, I'm staying here. There's Mr. Frank. And he subscribed for the first of six times this week. I like if two people have subscribed, but my subscribe number has not gone up. So God only knows what's going on. Nobody wants that mattress. <laughs> We're getting some writing into getting some writing, getting some chatting in. I told my wife on uh, Wednesday when she's home, we got to get uh, Hulu again so I can watch that Bon Jovi thing, and then and then turn it off again. Getting some chat in right on. Whatever that means. Mr. Frank has been exploding bears. Cancelled. Yep. So they tied three balloons, graduation balloons, to the mailbox. And it is 84 degrees, feels like 95. And it is very windy. So these balloons keep blowing around. So all I see in the corner of my eyes is these fucking balloons blowing around. And my wife was supposed to cut them off and get rid of them before she left to go to her mom's. And then at the door, she I don't know if you heard her, she was like, I forgot about the balloons. Can you get those? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's, they're not annoying the shit out of me. I got it. So at some point I got to go out in the hot winds of death and uh, pop all these balloons and then take them down.
This Frank says, I still haven't been exposed to any of the supposed bear drama. I see it constantly. I asked my wife about it last night. We were talking about it. And she's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I was like, seriously? Like, every freak... I'm like, I guess you don't you don't have Patrick Freivold and uh, Brock and McLeod. You don't follow them because they're posting about it every five seconds. It was 99 red balloons. That would be something. Luft balloons. Yes. 99 fish luft balloons. Thanks, Nick. Now this song will be in my head. Yep. All freaking day. I will listen to the uh, Pennywise did a version of that, a live version during COVID. They did. You remember when all the bands were doing like all staying in their own houses and and having like four or five videos all at once? They did a really good version and the, a good version because the dude from Pennywise even sang the last uh, part of it in German. Exactly, Mister Frank. Mr. Frank, what do you think of the new Motley Crue song? We all want to know. We all want to know. doesn't matter what I think just don't listen <laughs> that really does not answer the question you either like the song or you don't <laughs> that makes you look like you just got done yachting for the morning. Maybe I'm going to do Twitch and then I'm going to go yachting. Sunday afternoon yachting for me is so much better. The, the water is nicer. Fish are jumping. I got all kinds of topless chicks on my yacht. You know, on my yacht, which I've named Mr. Frank. Extension of my penis. The rainbow unicorn shirt also helps. I wore this yesterday because of May the 4th. Stormtrooper on a narwhal. I guess, yeah, there's a rainbow, which I guess is me supporting the LGBTQ community for some reason as well. That's clearly a post-yawning lid. That is, you caught me. I have another specific pre and then a during I have several, several hats that uh, I have to use. A lot of the little kids yesterday at the uh, the event were like, oh, I love your shirt. Oh, and I would always say it was the best part of the movies. But I don't think, I don't think there was a narwhal. Can't a rainbow just be a rainbow? Like five years ago when I got this shirt, 
it was just a rainbow. Now I feel like I, I just realized wearing this out, I'm making a statement. Or people think I'm making a statement. Narwhal, damn, didn't see that until you showed it. Thought it was a unicorn. No, no, it's it's a it's a it's a narwhal. Was there unicorns in Star Wars, dumbass? No! Narwhals. I think my sister-in-law bought me this shirt like five, six years ago. And um, I, I haven't been able to fit in it. And now I've lost, I've lost weight. I've lost like 20 pounds. It does not look like I lost 20 pounds, but the scale does not lie. And also I had to tighten my shorts up yesterday and these shirts. So I'm losing, oh, uh, I guess I'm losing inches. Which I guess is good enough. <laughs> what a dope. I remember all the narwhals in Star Wars. <coughs> exactly. And that's why the shirt makes sense. Alright, so my goal here is... Good job, 20 pounds is 2201 BX. Something. Yeah. So I gotta get my walking in today. I gotta get um, my writing in today. So I got I just need to get to the next page, which is right there, and then I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call this uh, done, and then. Little known fact: it's Bette Midler in the stormtrooper's armor. I did not know that. This is why we come to you for stuff. Nick is hovering over the next page button, probably. Let me give the man what he wants. Then I can get the hell out of here and um, get some more coffee. I'm probably going to poop. I'm probably going to have to poop. not next page yet Tom I can't I can't do that beaches would have been better with more stormtroopers agreed I pooped this morning it's still not safe in there yeah last last night before everybody got here I was like I gotta go to the bathroom and my wife was in there like getting dressed and doing her makeup or something I was like I know this is gonna be a bad one and if I crap in there even with the fan running, I don't want to gross her out. But then if I do it in the guest bathroom, there's like 45 minutes until somebody gets here. And that still might be stinking even with the fan on. I just went in that one. I'm thinking, you know what? You want to come to my house? You want to eat my food? This is the price you got to pay. Damn, make toilet. That's how you get the guy not to sit in your seat. Poop on it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. She was like, oh, we got to have... 14 people here and we have seat seating for 12 in the dining room I'm like i'm sitting in the other i'm sitting in the other room and she's like well no you don't have to i said i, I don't want to be around these people i'm gonna sit in the other room. so i sat in the other room and actually uh me my daughter her boyfriend uh aiden who graduated his friend nick who showed up and then his brother austin we all sat in the uh in the other room which was good i i purposely did not even look to see where douchebag was sitting 
because I did not want to um, I did not want to see him in my seat. And knowing him, he probably sat in my seat, not across from me. There's Ben. How's your Saturday? Very good. Did you hang in for long yesterday, Ben? Other people show up? Don't let those bathrooms make people. I, Mr. Frank, I agree. I agree. We're, we're wrapping this up uh, very soon, Ben. Ben 10, yeah, I think I, I think that's who, who it is. Ben showed up for um, Michael Whitmer's book signing yesterday. I don't respond to anything your daughter says on your post because she will destroy me with the comments. I know she's. I think she's a little upset that you don't, um, you don't make comments because she loves my daughter. I don't know if you know this, but she's sarcastic and she loves saying uh, stupid shit on there. I stayed until thirty minutes before it ended. Very good. He had a lot of people show up to support him. Very cool. I think Amanda Ward said she showed up with her daughter, which is cool. Your child is sarcastic? Get out of here. I know, right? It's hard to imagine. Listen, you think she's sarcastic. You're lucky my son isn't on there. Because he's not only sarcastic, he's just a fucking asshole. Like, my kid is just an... He's 28, 29, and he's just a dick. Like, he fights with people all the time. Like, how do you have business? How are you a tattoo artist... And you mock people and you argue with people online. And you have these stupid ideas that you're fighting people. People are like, uh, you know, like like uh, companies are like, oh, spay and neuter your dogs and cats. And he's on there attacking them. Oh, yeah. So in 20 years, we have no dogs and cats. I'm like, that's not, that's not what they're saying, you moron. I want this tattoo on my ankle. <laughs> because he does it in Arabic. Yeah, exactly. Great. Take off your top. Yeah. I always, I'm like, what's the best best tattoos you've given? He's like, well, there's just... I'm like, you know what I'm, I'm asking, dumbass. I don't care about what the tattoo is. I don't care about tattoos. I don't have tattoos. I'll never have a tattoo. He's like, when they when you, when, when you got to get real close to the JJ, Those are good ones. Or he's like, for some reason, the bigger their ass is, the, the better chance they want a tattoo on it. His girlfriend works there, too. His girlfriend is also a tattoo artist, so that kind of gets a little wonky for him, I'm sure. Of course I've asked if he's tattooed an ass. What if every JJ has a pretty good tang? Yeah, he's never said, like, anything is like... He's never like, yeah, I did this one... I did this stink box once. He, he hasn't told me that yet. I'm sure it will come up. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure. He also says that a lot of uh, chicks, especially when you're down in those areas... They, um, you can tell they get very excited. So, they're like very, very turned on by getting tattooed down in those nether regions. <laughs> what, well, don't forget to clean the litter box. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh, Mr. Frank. Uh, let me get these lines in so, so Nick can, can officially shout. I mean, even, even though Tom already, Tom already ruined it for him. Totally, totally ruined it for him. But, you know, whatever. I don't know about that. I don't want a needle on my nether regions. Yeah, it's... It does not seem like that's a good idea. Like, at all. People want tattoos in the weirdest, craziest places. This thing looks like weak old low main. <laughs> ah, Mr. Frank. That was my nickname in high school. Weak old... Low main. to the next page. 
they probably don't have that small enough needle for it anyway. We call domain is going to be in this book now. <laughs> Next page, Nick Zinn. Next page, Tom Duffy. Next page. I'm Rose Millie, collected short stories, volume five. We called low main. You know what? I, I do I do need a I do need a title for the next one. So that might uh, that might just be an inside joke one. All right, I gotta I really gotta go to the bathroom. So we're gonna wrap this up. I appreciate everybody hanging out. There is a small chance I might even be on later tonight. Probably not, but never say never. Put my, put my watch on, get my steps in. But I uh, appreciate everybody hanging out. Tom, go eat some pizza rolls and get this friggin' chapter done. Let's go. Rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. I will see everybody tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Um, I also appreciate you going to my YouTube and subscribing there as well. Thank you, everyone. You have a lovely, lovely Sunday. Bye, Nick.